क्लास नाइन्थ स्टूडेंट्स इट इज़ द नेक्स्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम द चैप्टर टिश्यू दे आर मेन टू स्मॉल टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट इज द फीचर ऑफ परमानेंट टिश्यू एंड सेकेंड इज द टाइप्स ऑफ मरिस्टमेटिक टिश्यू सो वट आर द वेरियस फीचर्स और द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ परमानेंट टिश्यू द परमानेंट टिश्यू फॉर्म्ड ऑफ द सेल्स विच हैव नो पावर ऑफ डिविजन द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द सेल्स आर बिगर एंड डेंस साइटोप्लाज आर प्रजेंट इन देयर सेल्स द सेलवाल्स ऑफ दिस सेल्स आर थिक there may be presence or absence of intercellular spaces function of the permanent tissue permanent tissue in plants provide mechanical strength and transport the various substances these substances are the water minerals and the food in plant now the types of meristematic tissue meristematic tissue is of three types first is the apical meristem it is the meristematic tissue in plants which occurs at the growing tips of plants these are the apex of shoot and tips of root cells of this tissue are closely packed this tissue in plant is involved in elongation of root and shoot means it is for increasing the height of a plant which is known as the primary growth so apical meristem is involved in causing primary growth in plant second type of meristematic tissue is the lateral meristem which occurs along the sides of the central axis of the plants or just below to the bark of trees and you know what is bark that is the rough and tough upper structures of stem lateral meristem help in increasing thickness or the width which is known as the girth of plant which is called secondary growth it is by the production of vascular tissue year after year in plant the third type of meristematic tissue is the intercalary meristem which occurs at the base of leaves and internode region nearby the nodes and the internode the cells of this tissue grow very fast which help in stem elongation and production of new branches and leaves which is also known as the differentiation process this way intercalary is involved in production of various parts in plants thanks 